Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, I got a question from the uh, Ask the S Expert, which is the red button over there on the left-hand side of the page. And um, so I'm going to answer it with a video because it's probably something that uh, other people will have the same question too. So the question is, on a home sale contingency, so here's the scenario. You own a house, but you want to move, but you don't have enough cash or financing available to just go buy another house outright. You have to have this one close, get that payment off your credit report, take whatever cash is out of it and move it to the next house. So what some people do is they just sell the house and then they get the cash and then they go buy the, another, the next house. But what uh, other people try to do is they try to go from one house to the next house it's pretty smoothly. So you can do that. This is how you do it. You go make an offer on the house you want contingent upon your house selling, meaning hey, we'll buy your house, we'll give you 150000 for it, we're going to get a loan, and we're going to close, but we don't know the closing date. Um, but our house is uh, on the market, or we're going to sell it, but we want to make it contingent. So if our house doesn't sell, then we want our earnest money back. So you can do that. Now, in this market in Vegas, it's probably not going to work because no one would want to accept that offer because you, if you get 10 or 20 offers, that would be like the absolute worst offer you could possibly see because it just ties up the house for a sale that may or may not happen. So there's a couple ways you can handle that. Okay, let's say you're in a market, a normal market or in a part of the country where this is pretty common. Okay, the question always is, is if you're the home seller, what if somebody else comes along? And this is how you handle that. If you're the seller, and another buyer comes along and says, look, we, want, we just want to buy your house. We don't have a home sale contingency. You have to go back to the first person and say, give up your EMD and close within this number of days or we get to sell it to the other house or to the other people. And you have to have that agreed to in writing right up front. You know, that's the sort of the strategy to use. It's just, you know, you want it all in writing. It's a good technique. It's a technique we use here when we're negotiating these out. We always give the seller an out that if another person comes along, they can get they can let the um, buyer out. So the seller has an out, which is another buyer shows up. They don't have a contingency. They can throw the first person out. Okay. Now you're saying, well, what about the buyer? Am I protected? Sure. Your protection is you make sure in writing that if you don't, if your house doesn't sell, or if you can't sell it, or if the buyer tries to throw you out, that you just get your earnest money back and you just agree to it all in writing up front but whatever's going to happen with the earnest money and the whole deal is just going to be what everyone agreed to there's not really a standard way there's two or three general ways that it happens and I've sort of gone through them so buying with home sale contingency you can do it the easiest thing though is sell the house first live in temp live with a move in with a friend put your stuff in storage until you get the next house um, that's the easiest way to do it, especially right now in this market. Anyway, I thought that would share that with you. Uh, that's my update for today and hope to see you on another video. Thanks.